So the first thing we do is we check CrackMe 11 and see how it runs. And you see, this is a text box to enter the serial key and it says wrong serial key if you enter anything. And you're supposed to unpack this. But we are not going to unpack it. We are going to use XDBG to open it first to look for the correct places to patch. So we attach to the CrackMe 11. And remember CrackMe 11 is packed with UPX here. Yeah? So now we go to Symbols and uh, run, go to the correct uh, program module and run. So now we search for strings, search for current module string references. We are going to look for the bad messages which says sorry. So let it scan for the strings. So now we filter out sorry and we found one hit. And we go there and, we, and this is the uh, location where we are supposed to jump. But it, it is not jumping. So we copy the address and then we close the uh, XDBG. Now we will open cheat me, the crack cheat engine. And then we are going to attach cheat engine to crack me 11 pack. So what we need to do is to open crack me 11 first, let it run, let it unpack itself into memory. And so now that it unpack itself into memory, we attach to it with cheat engine. Select the crack me 11 from the list. And then now we test it. We can key anything and click check and it says sorry, wrong key. So we are going to use cheat engine to inject code. So open memory viewer and in the memory viewer we are supposed to go to the address that we copy from XDBG. So we copy it and we paste it and we go to the address. So this is the location that we're supposed to jump. Okay so now we're going to write the script tools auto assemble template AOB injection click OK click OK and then now we are going to inject some code by modifying the jump equal to jump unconditional jump. And then we attach it to the current cheat table. And now we can test it. So we have this in the script in the cheat table. Okay, so now we are going to click check one more time to make sure that it is still working. Sorry, wrong key. And now we activate the script to inject the code and click check. And we have bypassed the, the bad message. We uncheck the script and now we are back to the default. So what you have just seen is the using cheat engine to bypass the uh, UPS protection without having to unpack. Thank you for watching.